Hi everyone, my name is Andy Skugman in front of the ASP booth here at the 2012 SHOT Show in Las Vegas. And I am with John Shanks from the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial, one of our great partners. John, tell us why your organization uh, partners with ASP. Well, I think our fundamentals are the same. ASP, uh, their products are really focused on officer safety. And the fact that the ASP baton has been a major piece of police equipment for many, many years and uh, gives police officers uh, a tool that they can access easily and is often less than deadly force opportunity to control a situation. It just seemed a very natural partnership between the Memorial Fund and ASP. We have a line of co-branded merchandise uh, with your organization. One of those items is a 21-inch baton. Tell all of the proceeds uh, that we get are donated directly to your organization. Tell us what you're doing with that money and where you are at in that, pro in that process. Absolutely. Um, well, first off, the baton that is made by ASP right now, it has the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial logo on the end cap. And actually, if I show yep. this end cap, you can buy just the end cap or purchase the entire baton with the end cap on it, which has the rose and shield, which is the uh, emblem of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. And then also engraved in the, uh, in the leather is the National Law Enforcement Museum. And all the proceeds from the sale of this baton goes to the museum. Now, the National Law Enforcement Museum does what we call, sell, it's gonna tell the rest of the story, the story behind the badge of the men and women in law enforcement. Now, at the National Memorial, we honor those men and women who died in the line of duty. Their names are inscribed on the memorial walls. And about 12 years ago, our board said, you know, what about everybody else? What about the uh, 900,000 men and women who go to work every day and keep our community safe? Who's telling that story? And the reality was nobody was telling the story. So what we did is came up with the idea of a National Law Enforcement Museum. And we went to Congress, Congress approved that. We started our public campaign. It's an $80 million capital campaign. Uh, to date, we've raised 56 million. We broke ground in October of 2010. And we will uh, open the end of 2013, beginning of 2014. So this partnership with ASP will actually help us finish the project to get the money and the funds that we need to build this first ever museum and tell the history and proud traditions of uh, every law enforcement officer in America, not just those men and women who have died in the line of duty. So uh, we're honored as an organization to, to have that responsibility to uh, uh, honor those men and women who died and then at the same time celebrate the lives and careers and profession that so many of our men and women have taken on to keep our community safe. John, we're proud to be a part of it. Thanks so much for what you're doing. Thanks for taking uh, the time today, and, and we appreciate it. Absolutely. It's our honor, and uh, I look forward to working with you guys. Thank you.